Pollution Trash Things that have bothered humanity since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution. And boy has it become real bothersome in this rim world, polluted to the brim yet somehow still alive. Now, what if some wild entrepreneur has on his hands some obscure technology? Technology that allows him to make use of this pollution. Dog ear smells opportunity and starts cleaning up this rim world. For the money, of course. His super secret technology allows him to transform toxic waste packs, which is found in the environment as pollution, or produced by mechanoids when they charge, into useful resources like steel, plasteel, uranium, and also gold. This process does, however, produce trash as a byproduct, which must then be converted into trash bricks. Now, trash bricks are somewhat useless as, when damaged, they release toxic gas, are worth zero silver, and have pretty big negative malices to beauty. So how are we going to use all of this trash? Why, by building sculptures, of course. Turns out, transforming trash into art sculptures adds value to the trash, netting us big money. Now, unfortunately, the material required to build these converters requires power-focused chips which Dog only has three on hand, and to get more, he would have to get it from the War Queens of the Rimworld. Now for this playthrough, all of our materials will be coming from recycling, traders, and quests, and absolutely zero use of deep drills. We also have Vanilla Trading Expanded installed, which means that as we buy more and more skill and components, their prices will eventually skyrocket. And after two years of building, here's what we got. A pretty good base, although very ugly, but still functional. We are also self-sustaining thanks to the toxic waste produced by our generators. The vicinity of our base has also been cleared of pollution, making us quite a little bit of resources. Now if you're wondering how we got here, here's what happened. We started off in an ice sheet, which is heavily polluted, with a lot of mechs on hand. And of course we start building our base immediately, with a few nodes for early game mechs. And of course a drain casket for dog. We also use toxifier generators since we need the pollution, and let the magic begin. And then we need to set the bills for our electric powered recycling bench, and every one of these needs a lot of work. And to remove pollution we need these pumps. I was observing the first alloy pack splitter I had. And I was confused because I was seeing no resources. Turns out you had to put space behind it so the resource can actually come out. We also start building a second one because we are producing way more toxic waste packs than we are consuming. We eventually get a quest from the Imperium of Nictro asking if they can dump 90 waste packs into our base. And they are giving some pretty big rewards, especially that psychic reader. And they probably don't know we can convert those 90 waste packs into our own resources. Eventually, we get enough resources to build ourselves a trash compactor. Now what this one does is that it converts trash into trash bricks, which are useless right now but we'll make good use of them later. Our storyteller eventually graces us with some gifts from the sky, that gift being the steel slag chunks. After a while, we get ourselves to around 3 alloy pack splitters, 2 trash compactors, and 2 recycling workbenches, which means that the 3 fabric cores we got are now fully loaded. And now the waiting game begins, because we've used up all of our steel. Fortunately, we get ourselves a bulk goods trader called the Father Export Company, and we trade in all our light leather and a bit of this night for a bit of steel, which we can use to build more buildings in our base. We've managed to accumulate around 50k here. And we build up a little trash brick wall around our base so our raiders don't shoot up our precious pollution pumps. We also get another trader, which means more steel and less uranium. On our third year on Rimworld, we get immediately blasted by another bulk goods trader. And this time, we're going to trade in our gold and plasteel for some steel. And I learned that you can never have enough steel. We then use that steel to build ourselves a hydroponics area, because while dog doesn't eat food, our future prisoners certainly will. Fortunately, those prisoners aren't going to last long, but they still need some sustenance. And from years of playing the Rimworld, I know exactly what crop to grow. And that is rice. That is the only answer. We use what steel we have to make more pollution pumps for our base. And as I'm checking our wealth graph, it is going up. 
which is, you know, good. Now, dog here is going to need some more hemogen, which we're... We still have a lot, but we are going to need more. So we build ourselves this nice ethical drain casket. And then we get ourselves another quest. Now, this quest will give us 90 waste packs, and it also has an Arcotech ear, which is a very, very powerful bionic implant. So, of course, we naturally accept. This unfortunate woman crashes into our base. And so it's quickly rushed into the drain casket. And now Dog's Hemogen is secure for the rest of this playthrough. Now that we do have more resources, we can afford a multi-analyzer for higher tech. Which was quickly interrupted by a trader, where we trade in our guns and some gold for components. A man named Mort is eventually accepted into our group, which triggers the naming ceremony, and we're gonna call ourselves the Red Sock Society. And of course, we name ourselves Wastopia. And what's this? Another quest for 90 waste packs and a silent new reformer? Don't mind if I do. While we do have the hydroponics basin working, we don't really have prisons. So we're gonna set this place for prisoners. Prisoners whose brains will get ripped apart by a subscore scanner. Like poor old Moritz here. But don't worry, those subcores will become fabric wars. Good night, Moritz, and hello, fabric war. We do also need to start producing our own components since components are going up in price. Like some steel here, if you've noticed it's around 2 silver, or around 3 now, from 1. Now the little prisoner here we're supposed to take care of goes berserk, and I have to drop this Eltek sword, else I'm gonna kill him. And we don't want that. We should be expanding our pollution cleaning services, now that I think about it. Still a lot of pollution left to clear. We then got around to building ourselves a mech booster, which should speed up the movement speed and work speed of our mechs. The range is pretty short though. Goodbye prisoner, hello 90 waste packs. Now let's see how a dog performs against 4 cats. That was really quick. Too bad we couldn't save this guy. What remaining steel the colony had, I used for hydroponics basins which we will be using to make cotton. Now, cotton here is the best cash crop, at least in the base game. I don't really know which is the best cash crop now that I've had so many mods installed, but it's a good, it's a good start. And cotton. Now we are accumulating quite a lot of trash now, which means it's time for some art. I remember small sculptures being more profitable, so we'll go with that. And then we set it to make using trash bricks only. Now, unfortunately, no mechs can do art, so Dog has to do all of the work himself. And look at this trash sculpture with a negative 205 beauty. We are definitely never going to use this for anything in our colony, although it's already worth 90 silver. That's a step up from zero. We still only have 3 alloy splitters and I think it's around 4 fabric cores. And I'm going to need way more if I want to start making silver. Or you know, getting my market value up. But I am going to need way more prisoners for those sub cores. And here is our Wastopia, after another 2 years on the rim. A pretty good use of 2 years. And we're now set to amp up and scale up our production. Another year. Time to build ourselves a paramedic. Now the pollution has reached beyond our power supply, so it's time to expand this power network. And also expand our pollution cleanup. I feel like we've been slacking a bit around here. As opposed to the other sides. Now that is a really nice view. Especially when you compare it to when we first started. I mean, there's still a lot of pollution left, but this looks significantly cleaner. The base though could use a lot more work, but steel is a precious resource, so we just have to wait. And with the expansion of power supply means the expansion of our walls to protect the pumps. And here we have another unfortunate soul, Sam. You know what that means. More fabric ores. Ah, uh, look at all these trash brick sculptures we made. Well, at least they're worth something. Which is a pretty big step up from, you know, having zero value as trash bricks. 
But as time goes by, I feel like Dog is gonna make way better sculptures than this one. Okay, the prices of steel and components are still manageable, looks like. So we're gonna buy all of it. Or, you know, all we can afford. Well, hello there, Bo. And goodbye, Bo. Our paramedic mech is just finished gestating, so we're gonna get our architect ear upgrade. Man, now that we're building so far away from our base, it's taking forever to build anything. Or maybe because, you know, dog is asleep in his bed after anesthesia. Alright, we need our war queens now. Because war queens have that psi focus power chips we need. And here we have dog. Absolutely annihilating this mech cluster and transforming it into an alloy splitter. Very nice job, dog. It's time to expand our pollution clearance again. You know, this is kind of cumbersome. I think I need the big pumps next time. Hey, we're actually making progress. Okay, so this random guy decides to show up. And you know what that means. Yep, more brains for fabric wars. We love fabric wars. Maybe I should start using growth vats for fabric wars. And we build ourselves a nice temple to our ideology. We have so much gold saved up that we were able to build all of these. Uh, more pollution clean. Who doesn't like it? Who doesn't like how it looks actually, to be fair. I've started noticing my game is starting to slow down a tad bit. Probably because of all the mechs running around. We still have a long way from 1 million though. But first, let's get ourselves some prestige armor, so that we don't die while farming our mechanoids. Vanilla Psycast expanded. I love you. Look at all this. Me killing an entire mech cluster with a war queen too. And now the farm begins. Alright, here is our beautiful base after another two years spent in the rim. I feel like we've expanded quite a lot and it's getting difficult to defend from the raiders because they come from so many different angles now. And it takes dog forever to walk from one side to the other. Now let's see what the next year brings. Been a few years and we are now worth half a million. Dog here has also become a sculpture making god, pumping out legendary after legendary. In the meanwhile, we've made two art making androids. Place a statue of gold in our altar and converted our hydroponics into super hydroponics and putting down some nice silver flooring and as you can see we've greatly enhanced our pollution clearance we've cleaned up i think around 50 percent almost of the pollution in the map or or something pretty close to that the razor's also starting to get really hard and without an infinite supply of steel from deep mining it's kind of hard to build any base defense or even any mech defense for that matter. Everything looks to be working quite nicely, just as dog intended. We also managed to scam two people into making art first by giving them these very impressive bedrooms made of gold. And while they are extremely slow and not as talented as a dog, a sculpture is a sculpture, which means more silver for us and more gold for their beds. And here we put them to work far away from our main production line because we don't want them near toxic gas. Although we do want our androids near our storage area so that they'll be more efficient. And we're ignoring all traders here. And upon checking, steel is now at 12 silver per piece. So we have completely stopped trading them at the moment. And look at our little factory in full swing. Converting all this map's trash and pollution into usable materials. And somehow we managed to make a base too, although the steel is a big problem still. Should be checking our wealth. Oh, are we there? Oh, we made it! Wow, we are now worth 1 million. Who knew recycling and cleaning up pollution via very advanced technology would be so profitable? Well, Dog certainly did. Hi guys, I really enjoyed making this video. And it was quite interesting to see a game without deep drills. Certainly not the most fun way to play. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing down below. And click on the video to the right if you want to see more of Dog's shenanigans. Thank you all and have a nice day.